Good morning. Happy fall. Happy Halloween. Today I'm going to carve a pumpkin for the first time in a really long time. I have some great art projects in mind for once he is carved with a nice face and hopefully that will work out. So first I need to learn how to carve a pumpkin. One pumpkin is needed. I hear a bowl is good for the seeds. This one is the moral support pumpkin. He's going to hang out. Some towels in case it gets messy. Let's be a little bit more careful with these guys. One knife, serrated edge. Other knife, paring knife. I'm not sure which I need, but I'll put them here so that it's safer. And various spoons for scraping. And moral support coffee as well. Let's put that with that little pumpkin. So this bow is the first thing that's got to go because it's great. It has some holiday spirit. Not necessary to pumpkin carving. Okay, Mr. Pumpkin. Well, I am going to be doing a weird pumpkin. So I am actually cutting from the bottom bit because I have this great plan. So let's see. Flip them over. Kiddos, be careful. Adults, be careful. Try this out. I am making my first cut. Whoa. Making my next cut. Whoa. Making my third cut. I'm not going to say whoa every time. What I do know is it gets easier once you get it started. Let's put them right there. And normally you would be cutting the top of them, but I want it to be round and solid, as pumpkins are. So while cutting, because it's pretty tough, make sure you keep your hands away from the blade because the last thing you want to do is cut yourself. And I keep spinning it so that as I'm cutting it, it's not coming very close to me. I think I've almost made a circle. Let's put the knife over there so it's safe. Put them sideways. And Voila! The bottom has come off with all these cool seeds. You know what also needs to come off is this because it's getting awfully warm in here. So, uh, let's put that over there. So this is me, my pumpkin. And I'm going to start scraping the seeds. Later I'll be separating out uh, I think the little metal one is best, actually. Later, I will be separating out the seeds and roasting them. I haven't done that for years either. But for now, this will work. I don't really need the bottom for anything, but, you know, just in case. This is the messy part. Scrape all this gunk. Man, it's a lot of gunk. I'm just kind of fun to get messy with your hands. Let's see. Oh, all of this gunk. So I'm doing this on a carpeted space, but I put down the liner because pumpkin mess and carpet do not mix. You might want to do this on your kitchen counter instead to keep your family happy, keep yourselves happy if you're the one who has to clean up. See, it's very messy. Get these seeds on my clothes. So now I am scraping the inside. Should be a little closer to you to show this. Scraping the inside to get all the gunk out. 
don't know if you can tell, but and by gunk, I mean those delicious seeds. mixture of using my hands and using a spoon. I'm scraping part of the actual pumpkin too, but I actually okay with that. I'm flicking pumpkin everywhere. Okay, so he's all scraped out now. It looks like this. And since I want to make a hat, and we can tell it doesn't fit. I need to make it a little bigger, so I'm going to cut it more. Let's see if I can get that on my head. Almost. Actually, cutting out some of the pumpkin to give it more space in there. Okay, does that? I think that covers me. Cool. So I now have a pumpkin that will fit on my head. Probably have pumpkin in my hair, which is not very attractive. Let me get that out. my hair out of the way because it is getting so messy okay me my pumpkin let's see let me dump that out now he needs a face so I need to figure out what I'm going to do this is how it fits on me I was hoping it would fit all the way. I just keep scraping more and more of the actual pumpkin flesh. Let's try that again. So I had hoped to be able to make it a full head, but it clearly didn't work. That's okay. I'm just going to give him some cool, scary eyes. So some people like to draw this on beforehand. I'm just kind of winging it. If there's one eyeball. 
eyeball. Let's give him another eyeball there. I guess it's not going to be a him if it's on my head in a minute. Kind of flying everywhere so be careful unless you want a messy mess okay i'm gonna try it on again so i think i put the eyes like way up there on my forehead too bad that i can't see while i do that but that's okay give it some eyebrows because those are always fun to have. Big, let's say give them really big droopy eyes. So this is why planning in advance is suggested. But it is kind of fun winging things. Let's see. I mean, another eyebrow. Pull that guy out. So now my pumpkin. Got some eyes, you like the sad little head. Going to make space for my nose. head open my trim sticking out let's not worry about that so i hope you guys learned to plan better than me on this guy but at least i have this cool pumpkin head um maybe i'll put a i don't know i've decided if i need to put a mouth into him yet i'm gonna wait on that so i can decide later um and now it is cleanup time let me go over there and show you how cool this thing looks <clears throat> if you want to see the end result i'll be posting photos and videos on my site so check them out <laughs> 